What's up everyone, welcome back to ZFirst Gaming once again and today I'm here with another review and today I have the King 1K5 portable speaker. Now you, you might not have heard of the speaker a lot much uh, but because it's, uh, the King 1 is not uh, much of a you know a company to be heard of but as you can see here this portable speaker right in my hand is made up of very good quality plastic and it's basically shipped in a, a metal container so you don't have to worry about the you know shipping defects or something like that and uh, I, as you can see that I have not removed its plastic covering because obviously it's a review sample and is going to be shipped back to King One uh, once I have made a complete review and so uh, here we have a charging cable with it it's a, it's a micro USB cable and here we have an auxiliary cable so uh, in the ba on the back as you have so let me show you the back First of all, here we have the power button and then we have the line in button. Here you can plug in the aux cable in it uh, if you want to connect it to your computer or mobile phone via the aux cable. So here we have a micro SD card or TF card uh, slot. Here you can put your memory card uh, and you can play the MP3 songs right of it. And here is the micro USB board where you can plug in your micro USB for charging and other data, co and, uh, data connection. Sorry. So here on the back we have the serial number and then here we have the some of its specification written in Chinese and uh, English you know it's uh, the battery capacity is 1000 mAh and uh, the DC 5 volt of the uh, you know the voltage required for its charging and here on the front we have a nice and decent as you can see here the King 1 logo and if I am placing it right, you might uh, have seen two of the big speakers in front. One is right here, one is right here. And as far as I think, this might be a speaker too. And if you can see on the side, there is just a mesh. There's no speaker on the side. And if you see on the back, you don't see a speaker as well. But you can see two of holes here. One here and the other one here. I don't know what this is but here we have a nice mesh also and uh, basically the main sound comes from the front uh, so I don't basically know that what uh, from where all the other sounds come from but basically the sound focus is on the front so on the top we ha have four uh, touch soft keys first is the mode second is the rewind third is the forward and here we have play pause and call button so just let me just go ahead and turn it on if you keep on pressing it so and the start of you uh, might hear two sound of uh, sound of a person saying in two languages first he speaks chinese saying that this Bluetooth mode is turned on and then the same sentence is said in, said in uh, the English language. So alright, here is a right as you can see here it's in the pairing mode. So let me just go ahead and bring the phone here. Just go to the Bluetooth, turn on the Bluetooth and let me search for it. Alright, here we have the King 1 K5. Let's go ahead and pair it. Alright, so the voice says it's been paired now. So, now once you have connected the speaker with the Bluetooth, just go ahead into the YouTube and play some music in full audio. So this is the total audio you can hear from the front side and there I have confirmed it that there is no speaker on the back and on the other sides. This means that the total bass you can hear from or the total sound you can hear from is the only front of the speaker. However you can change the audio here on the top you can see that there is a ring. You can change the audio by moving it.
So now the one thing I've noticed is that the, uh, you can not uh, play or pause uh, from this uh, soft key uh, if you are playing a video or something like that. But if you are playing from the general audio or the you know the music app from the uh, from the phone, you can use this button to stop, rewind, move uh, forward or backwards uh, to the from the phone. Uh, all right, so here we can use this aux cable to connect this. Now I'm going to use this aux cable to connect this phone to the speaker, and let's see how much difference of the sound do we get. All right, now as I've connected the aux cable into the speaker, uh, it, the voice prompt said that the auxiliary mode has been enabled. Now let's see how much sound quality is improved with the aux cable. Now as I've connected the aux cable, and the voice prompt declared that the aux input mode has been enabled. So now let's see that how much quality has been improved by using this aux cable. Bluetooth mode has been on. 已连接成功 Paired. 现在是外接播放状态 Now is aux in mode. All right, thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. I hope you guys like this video. If you have liked this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. See you in the next video. Take care. Goodbye.